Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the next level of Bloom's taxonomy, which is application. So let me get my screen to go in here. All right, application. So at the application level, students um, are able to take information into new situations. So that's really different from comprehension. In the last video, we learned about comprehension and we emphasized that at the comprehension level, students can simply understand what's being communicated to them and what you want them to do with that information, right? They can say, okay, you um, just told me X. And here's how I can tell you that in my own words, that's comprehension. Well, in application, students can take that information and apply it, hence the name, or use it in a new situation without you telling them that. So when we talk about application, we're getting into the mid-level thinking on Bloom's taxonomy. So here's an excerpt from the text. Teachers frequently say if a student really comprehends something, then he can apply it. To make the distinction between comprehension and application categories clear, we have described it in two ways. One way of looking at the distinction is this. A problem in the comprehension category requires the student to know an abstraction well enough that he can correctly demonstrate its use when specifically asked to do so. Application, however, requires a step beyond this. Given a problem new to the student, he will apply the appropriate abstraction without having to be prompted as to what abstraction is correct or without having to be shown how to use it in that situation. So that's the big difference between comprehension and application. A demonstration of comprehension shows that the student can use the abstraction. A demonstration of application shows that he will use the application, okay? So the student has to make that information um, and take the next step. So this is a figure from the taxonomy, and I really like it because it shows it in a nice graphic representation. If you're a student at the comprehension level, so we've got a problem here and we've got the solution down here at the bottom. If you're a student at the comprehension level, you're starting at step five. So you have an abstraction that's given to you and you can use it to solve the problem. Whereas application, the problem's given, and then the student looks at it and says, huh, okay, this is a, something I've seen before. It's unfamiliar to me. Um, or maybe it's something I've seen before, and now I need to think about what to do. So the student begins at, the, at step one in application, where they have to apply some sort of previous knowledge, some prior schema, to this situation in order to come to the conclusion. Whereas comprehension, you're more or less still just kind of spoon feeding them. So here are your action verbs for the application level um, for you to use when you are writing instructional objectives at this level. Those of you familiar with educational psychology will quickly recognize this is the age old problem of transfer of training. So if you have taken ed psych classes in the past and you've heard about transfer, this is exactly what we're talking about. Where application is a great synonym for transfer. You take that information and you use it in a new situation. And one of the things that uh, Bloom himself emphasizes is that when we are in the feedback process as instructors. We give our students an assessment, right? And then we give them feedback on where they made their mistakes. And if you look at the bottom of this slide here, evaluation provides a feedback for future curricular revision. Such feedback is one of the utmost importance as a basis for appropriate revision of the educational process. We give the students feedback on where they're making their mistakes and likewise, their mistakes give us feedback on where we can improve our instruction. So that cycle of I take information, I present it, and then I find out what my students know, but then that information comes back to me and tells me how I can improve as a teacher. So I wanna make sure we factor that in as well. Here's some examples from Bloom. Uh, at the application level. The ability to predict the effect of a change in a factor, the ability to apply science principles to new situations, employ a pro procedure to find the solution to a problem in making 
whatever it is, you know, home repair is what the book uses, but it could be anything. Um, ability to relate principles of civil liberties and civil rights to current events, apply principles of democratic group action to participation in group and social situations. So there are so many ways that you can take information and then transfer it or apply it in a new situation. Here's an example, multiple choice question. An electric iron has been used for some time and the plug contact contacts have been burned, thus introducing additional resistance. How will this affect the amount of heat which the iron produces? So this is a student given this instruction uh, and given this situation, and then they have to apply some prior knowledge to figure out what to do next. So in short, application, is analogous to transfer. If you've heard about transfer in other ed psych situations, transfer, application, they're both the same thing. It requires students to know what to do in a new situation without you telling them. It can be improved with quality feedback to the learner on mistakes that they have made. And so, just like in the comprehension level, now I want you to put it into practice. Download the application level handout, pick a topic in your course, Use those action verbs and write three objectives at the application level of Bloom's taxonomy. Then select one of those and post it on our discussion board so that we can all learn from each other. And if you have questions, please reach out to me. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.